Hello, welcome to Prajim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 4, built-in string type in C Sharp. In part 3, we have seen the other built-in data types like Boolean, Integral, Floating Types and Decimal Data Type. Okay. In this session, we'll be looking at string types. From part 1, we have already seen you know, we have already been working with strings. For example, we have printed a string "Welcome to C Sharp Training," and we also have accepted some input from the user and then concatenated that with the "Hello World" and output to the screen. So, in this session, we will see you know string type and various things that we need to keep in mind when working with strings. Okay, escape sequences, verbatim literals, etc. All right, let's get into the demo. Okay, so in C sharp, a string is basically enclosed within double quotes. So double quotes basically have a special meaning, you know, in C sharp. They are used to indicate the beginning and end of the string. For example, if I have to store the name of a person, then probably I will have to use a string variable name equals whatever is the name of the person. For example, Let's say Prajim. So now this double quote here indicates the beginning of the string. This double quote he indicates the end of the string. Now, if I want to print the string, I can do console.write line and the name of the person. So what is this going to do? It's going to print that string. So if I go ahead and run that, so it prints that screen. Now let's say I want this name. Okay, now when I run this program, look at that word Prajim. It's not within quotes. For example, I want the word Prajim, you know, even the double quotes to be printed. How do I do that? If I put another double quote here, look at this. This indicates the beginning and end of a string. So this is like, what is this Prajim? It's outside of double quotes now. So that's why double quotes has a special meaning. If you want to output double quote in the sense if you want to print the double quote itself then there is a separate way to do that using something called escape sequence in C sharp the escape sequence character is backslash for example you know in this particular example double quote has a special meaning but I want the double quote to be treated as any other printable character and to do that we make use of this escape sequence character which in C sharp is backslash okay so if I want to print double quote what I need to do is I need to prepend that with a backslash and the moment I do that look at that that red squiggly is gone now this backslash tells to the C sharp compiler okay whatever precedes me you know treat that as a regular printable character even if it has got special meaning to C sharp compiler Okay, so escape sequence. There are some characters that have special meaning within C sharp. In that case, we can use these escape sequences to treat them as normal printable characters. Similarly, there are some non printable characters, for example, you know, a line feed or a carriage written. Okay, so if you want to print or if you want to specify those non printable characters within a string, again, you make use of escape sequences. Okay, let's complete this example first. I want the Prajim word to be within double quotes. So what I can do, I can escape the double quote with a backslash. And now if I go ahead and run this program, look at that. Prajim is, you know, surrounded by double quotes as expected. So there are different, you know, escape sequence characters within uh, um, C sharp. And if you want to have a look at them, you know, look at MSDN article, there are different escape sequence characters. For example, if I want a string within single quotation mark, then I would say backslash single quote. Or if I want a new line character after every word that I print, then I use backslash. And let's do an example with this new line character so that you understand that better. So for example, I have, okay, I want to print one, two, three, in three different lines. Okay, now to do that, I can make use of this backslash n because 
if you look at this one backslash n is the new line character so what am I doing here I have the string so instead of you know wasting time in typing I have already copy pasted that so one backslash n is a new line character so it comes to the next line two and new line three a new line so if I go ahead and run this program now one two and three you know will be coming in their own lines so though they are in the same line here backslash n has a special meaning which means it's a new line character it won't be printed backslash n instead a new line character will be printed that's why 2 comes in the second line 3 comes in the third line okay so those are the different escape sequences you have this chart on msdn escape if you type in escape sequences in c sharp you'll get that as the first article so depending on your requirement you can uh, use this chart and use that escape sequence okay, for example if you want to output backslash itself you can escape that with another backslash because again backslash has a specific meaning it is used as escape sequence character but if there is a requirement in your application where you want to print backslash itself then you escape that with another backslash okay so for example um, if I want to print a valid windows path then probably I can make use of this one so okay so I want to print you know I have within C drive regime dotnet folder within the dotnet training folder and C sharp folder if I want to print that look at that though I have double backslashes here in the output I get only single backslash because C sharp compiler knows backslash backslash means it's just an escape sequence character to print a backslash okay but however you know if an on programmer for example looks at this code it's not that readable this doesn't look like a valid windows path you know it's like four or five folders here uh, so it's okay but if there are let's say you know I'm 10 or 20 directories deep then I have to duplicate all these backslashes so in order to overcome that you know in C sharp we have something called verbatim literal okay so what's verbatim literal let's look at an example and then we'll come back and look at the definition of that okay now if you look at this particular string this doesn't look right you know this does not this doesn't look you know uh, as as a valid windows path it's not very much readable okay to make it more readable what you can do is put an at symbol in front of that string and the moment you do that the only change that we have done is put the set symbol here. Now if I go ahead and run this program, let's close all the other windows. You look at this, now it outputs, you know, backslash, backslash, double backslashes. Now, what you understood by this, when you put an at symbol in front of a string that's enclosed within double quotes, all the escape sequences within that string are no longer treated as escape sequences instead they are treated as regular printable characters okay so if you want to treat escape sequences as regular printable characters then you can make use of verbatim literal okay so when do you actually use these verbatim literals you know for example this is a, a very good example uh, because you know uh, if you want your program to be more readable you know if you want a valid windows path look like a valid windows path then make use of verbatim literals you know now if you you can actually go ahead and remove that extra backslash there and it looks much readable so if we go ahead and run this now you know look at this the program is much readable now okay so that's verbatim literal so in this session we have seen the string type you basically enclose the string type in double quotes and there are certain you know special characters which have special meaning with c-sharp compiler like single quote double quotes etc now if you want to treat them as regular printable characters then we make use of escape sequences uh, in c-sharp the escape sequence character is backslash okay so if you want to print a double quote you would say backslash double quote if you want to print a single quote 
backslash single quote. If you want to print a double uh, a backslash itself, then you escape that with another backslash. Okay, so escape sequences are basically used to print, you know, characters that have special meaning. Also, some non-printable characters like a new line feed, carriage return, etc. And we also have seen something called verbatim literal. Now, what's verbatim literal? Verbatim literal is a string with an at symbol prefix, you know, as in this example, you can see it on the slide, at hello. Now, verbatim literals, as we have seen in the example, they make escape sequences translate as normal printable characters to enhance readability. For example, we have seen the example of a valid vendor's path. And this is a practical example, which, of course, we have just seen now. You know, this string is not readable, whereas this is better readable. This looks like a valid vendor's path. That's it. Thanks for listening and for additional resources. As always, you can check frigentech.com and for ASP.NET C Sharp interview questions, you can refer to these resources. Thank you and have a good day.